Using my blog, I decided to make a series of blog posts that document in detail social plans I have tried and tested for users. Each post involves a range of sources including a summary of the day, invitation style plans, and reviews of everything we tried from food, restaurants, service, events we go to, people we see, and obviously the location itself. This concept targets indecisiveness and anxiety surrounding organising social plans. As youth, Wollongong becomes limited with things to do very quickly, and I hoped organising tried and tested plans in one spot would address this issue. I decided to use WordPress blog posts whilst linking it to my YouTube channel to simulate the greatest sample of dates possible online, complete with audio, visuals and written reviews. Okay, so here is the operational prototype that is open on the internet. So basically I've just organized it under clickbait as a subheading so it separates it from uni. And then here are all my organized blog posts. So first we've got Wedding Cake Rock, Groove in the Moo, and then below that we've got um, Humber Rooftop. So if we click on Groovin, we've just started with a summary, which I've done as like a blurb so people can know if they want to keep reading or maybe want to embark on these plans. So after that, I've done like an invitation style plan that kind of invites the reader to do these things and really just puts everything into dot point form. So time, place, weather, and of course, price range. So then after that, we scroll down to the successfulness of the plan, which I think is the most important, but the most wordy. So basically I've just reviewed places that we've been so that if you are thinking of doing these plans, you know everything that went right, everything that went wrong, even organizational things like how far away the restaurant was from the hotel we were staying. I use the universal term of rating things out of five so that people do have an indication of how successful the day was. This part was probably some of the most fun I've had on the blog post. So this is where I get to document what I wore. So what I'll do is just insert the images and then obviously the places where I bought those. This is where I get to now insert like a live taste of what we experienced with the trailer, which I embed on YouTube. And then just to kind of sweeten the deal further, I decided to embed one of my own playlists that I've created to complement the day. So my very first post was Humber Rooftop and it was posted on YouTube and advertised via Instagram. The link to my blog was in my bio and the story got 644 views, 100 website clicks and 333 views with heaps of international attention on WordPress. The video only really got 125 views which wasn't really comparable. So my post following that was Groove in the Moo and this was also advertised by Instagram getting 548 views and 74 website clicks. The video itself got a record breaking 315 views and a lot more comments than the rest of the other videos. Because I advertised the YouTube link instead, the description had all of the links to get to the blog, which was not effective at all. The actual blog post got an embarrassing 20 views. <laughs> Advertising on Instagram, however, is really effective because it is responsible for the majority of our views. YouTube, not so much. So it's clear that the views don't match up between the blog post and the respective video and people are just watching the videos and that's obviously because it's more interesting but the videos don't make sense by themselves so I need to find a way for them both to link up and get the same sort of views. And I think by doing that, I need to make the plans more alternative, not just lunch. It needs to be something that people haven't tried before, so they're more inclined to click on it. 